Hey guys, welcome back to Philosophy Not Your Ordinary Pharmacy channel. My name is Morgan and it has been a minute. Yes, I'm wearing a Reptar t-shirt. <laughs> I just want to start off by saying I hope you guys are staying safe I hope you are healthy and I hope you're doing your part to prevent the spread of this virus um, I know it's easy to get bogged down it's easy to feel sad it's easy to talk about the negative things but I just encourage you guys to like stay positive we will get through this I'm preaching to myself because I honestly have like been in a dark place um, with everything that's been going on but just wanted to put that out there before this video. Also, this is a medication that I made. I've talked about it in previous videos, but I just don't want y'all to think I have like <laughs> medicine like sitting up here. All of that being said, this video is going to be a story time slash a semester recap, which I know y'all have been begging and emailing and like Instagramming me. Like I have gotten so many messages and I just appreciate y'all for sticking with me through all of this i know that i have been gone last thing i have to say is this video is probably going to be long so pause this video go get a snack go get some popcorn go get some juice or soda or whatever you like and let's get started so i'm gonna start with the story time portion of this video first because it'll explain where i have been and everything else so yes i'm still in pharmacy school i did not drop out or fail or anything like that thank god so last semester was in fact the hardest semester but my best semester i've had in pharmacy school at all which is like kind of like what but um it was hard because it was so busy i'll get into that more later but that kind of explains <laughs> but i just like did not have any extra time like to film videos or do the stuff that i really wanted to do which i'm getting back to that um especially being at home and then this semester is very interesting i'll also touch on that a little bit later because this semester is um it's kind of um deceptive it's kind of deceiving because we only have two classes on our composite exam however we have to go to the hospital and we get patient cases and you have to make a soap note and all that stuff and that can cause like a lot of stress like for me i have a lot of anxiety with presenting and like doing that type of thing so it is still time consuming and then of course as you all can imagine online pharmacy school <laughs> like let me just repeat that pharmacy school online is like awful <laughs> Like it is a nightmare um, because it's like this is already hard like even going to class and then now we're responsible for like the teachers are still like posting lectures but essentially like we it's up to us to like make our own schedule and teach ourselves and da 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 so like it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> so anyway so I did the semester like the semester was fine and then so y'all know like I got a new car or whatever I got a new car last August was living my best life loved the car or whatever and on January 24th I had a car accident <laughs> and it kind of took me to like a very dark place for a little a short period of time that was my first car accident that I've ever had I'll just kind of give you an overview of that because i really want to let you guys know like what's been going on with me basically i was about to go um hang out with my boyfriend it's ironic because so i was going to get gas and then i was going to go to cvs like uh, going to the pharmacy to get my acne medication so there's a five lane street so there's two lanes going this way the turning lane and then two lanes going the opposite way so i'm trying to turn and it's weird because I never do this. It was just getting dark. So I was in the turning lane and the lane closest to me, they made an opening for me to turn into the CVS, but then I couldn't see the lane next to that car and their lights were so bright that I like couldn't see. And apparently like they were trying to tell me that there was one more car coming, but obviously I couldn't see them. So I went ahead and turned and they slammed into me. Um, and I was just like, I was so shocked that I was like, oh, like my car is fine. Like there's nothing wrong with my car, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that was false. 
so um, basically there was a lot of damage done over like eight thousand dollars worth of damage um, and my heart was broken my dad like when he saw it immediately was like oh it's probably total but the police officer and everybody else was like no it's probably not total because it's a 2017 car like anyway so they started working on it they were like oh like it's gonna be fine we're gonna fix it and i was like oh my goodness yay because i know i love this car like this is my first car that i bought with my own money like my first adult purchase that i bought and i haven't i like didn't have it for like even six months and so i like handle all of that stuff and then two months later um march last month my dad is talking to the people who are working on my car and they say like within two weeks her car's gonna be fixed whatever the next day i get an email from my insurance company that says information about your recent loss and i was like hmm? like <laughs> like what are you talking about loss like i don't have a loss so i was just like maybe this is just like a generic email but no it had my VIN number in there so it's not a generic email so I went downstairs and I showed my dad I was like um did they total out my car because um talking about I have a loss and they just told me that my car was gonna be like finished in two weeks so what's something is not adding up here um so basically long story short we, we called the insurance and they did in fact unfortunately tell me that they did total out my car Think what happened is like the frame of the car may have messed up because they said when they took the doors off of the car like they saw more damage and um they had already fixed the wheel like so my thing is like why did y'all start working on it and y'all didn't know like wouldn't you inspect all the damage before you start wasting money working on it i don't know but i think like it was just beyond repair so basically i <laughs> lost my car um, and I'm not gonna lie, like, I cried like a baby. So, I was really sad about it, um, but thankfully, you know, like, <clears throat> I'm still alive, so that's good, and, um, I'm still actively looking for cars, um, I'm, I'm so thankful to my aunt. She has, like, two cars, so she's been letting me use one of her cars. That's what I've been going through, <laughs> basically. And then all of this stuff started with the pandemic, and it's just been, this year has just been, like, like i just don't know i don't know that's basically like what has happened this semester is ridiculously busy but i'm gonna make time to film because i'm at home <laughs> all the time when i'm not working so with that being said i want to go ahead and get into the semester recap so i kind of like spilled the beans like i didn't want to keep y'all in suspense i had a very good semester last semester and i don't know if you guys remember i don't know if i even posted that video but I did set the goal of getting all A's and B's for last semester. The classes that I took last semester were quite a few <laughs> um, and so if you are new here I don't know if all schools do this but my school we have composite exams where all of our classes are on one exam so it's essentially like taking the ACT eight times so we have eight exams each semester every other Monday it's a lot um so the classes that we had were endocrinology nephrology pulmonology medical microbiology immunology we had ipex which i've talked to you guys before about that class it's like the simulation clinical scenario class um we had pharmacy professional development three i'll talk to you all about that um, and then we had pharmacogenetics and pharmacogenomics we had health systems, delivery, and economics, um, and then we had an elective. So this is like the first time we got to choose a class that we wanted because a lot of people don't understand that like you don't get to pick your classes, you don't get to pick your schedule. Like they literally, you come to school, they tell you where you're going next, like, and that's that. Like <laughs> you don't get to pick. Like okay, I'm gonna have a break on Tuesday, and then I'm gonna choose this on this day. Like no like i don't know if it's like that for other schools but they create our schedules for us 
So I can't remember what the other electives were, but I decided to take personal finance. One, because I think that's always important um, to know how to manage your finances. And also, it's an easy A, so why not? Like, it's a GPA booster. With that being said, I'm just going to explain kind of what the class is and then I'll tell you my thoughts on it, if it was hard or not. I kind of can't remember, like I don't know, <laughs> but and then I'll tell you what grade I got. So endocrinology is all about hormones, the adrenal system. Um, we also talk about diabetes in that class. I don't know, I'm just like saying random words and this probably is not giving you any kind of indication on like what the class was about. But just think the endocrine system, anything dealing with that, any disease states dealing with that, medications like um, Synthroid, like for thyroids, all the diabetes medications, all insulin, stuff like that. So that was endocrinology. I don't remember that class being any struggle to me. Um, I ended up getting a B in that class. And then nephrology. What? Oh. I did way better in that class than I thought I did. Okay, cool. Maybe I am smart. I don't know. So I'm just kidding. Now, I need to make a video on like imposter syndrome. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like you feel like you don't belong or you feel like you just got lucky and you don't, you kind of like discredit yourself for actually being smart. Like <laughs> that's something that I do and that's something like a lot of my classmates and friends do too. Okay, nephrology, like it sounds, is kidneys, 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 diuretics loop diuretics, works in the loop of Penley, like thiazide diuretics, um, diuretics, dialysis, chronic kidney disease, electrolytes, ADH, antidiuretic hormone. That's a nightmare. I <laughs> actually had a case on that. That was my first case and it did not go well. Let me just give y'all that. It did not go well. This is hard stuff. The pharmacy is hard stuff. Like, <laughs> But this class was harder definitely than endocrinology. At some points I was like, I'm definitely gonna fail this class, but like, I don't know. <laughs> just because electrolytes, like those topics are just hard in general. Like it's, it has nothing to do with the teacher or anything like that. They're just hard. But I came out the class with a B minus, literally like one point <laughs> away from a C. So I just thank God because like, I was like, what, when I saw the grade? So I am just so thankful. Pulmonology, asthma. COPD. Cystic fibrosis, I think, was in there. Pulmonology was pretty easy. I got to be in the class. Medical micro. I kind of really enjoyed the class. I honestly think that microbiology in college was harder than this class. It wasn't really hard to me. I got to be in the class. Um, but I'm sure y'all know what microbiology is. It just wasn't hard to me. I think if you had a good like foundation, it was easy but then like if you didn't i did see like some people struggle and they said like they didn't have a good biology foundation but they still passed so i wouldn't worry about that class immunology i also really enjoyed this class that i got to be and it wasn't hard at all immunology is about antigens and stuff like that <laughs> that doesn't really explain what it's about but vaccines and like how you create antibodies and things like that and helper T cells and NK cells and all that stuff so but I really enjoyed that class and I got to be in it okay I just want to say that I took a break from filming for a minute literally I have no idea like I look like I just got out of wisdom tooth surgery or something like, when I came back I looked like a zombie I was like talking like I was super tired I don't know what this is but I promise I'm fine so this is me basically explaining that I got honors pass for IPEX and then for PPD I passed that class both of those classes are pass bill and you can also get honors pass for doing extra things but I didn't want y'all to sit through me monotone like talking um and looking so greasy like I literally don't know what was wrong with me but I'm sorry and I hope you're enjoying this video pharmacogenetics and pharmacogenomics so this class like I actually really enjoyed it and I kind of wish that our composite exam didn't have five courses on it because if it did like I would have had time to like actually really like dive into the material and like learn more about it but genetics and genomics basically SIP enzymes, mutations, things like that, gene sequencing, genome, like all that kind of stuff. It was a pretty cool class. I got a B in it. Personal finance elective, I got an A. Y'all basically know what that class is, a personal finance. And then health systems, delivery, and economics. 
if you know you know like um yeah so this is one of those classes that like Moro is not supposed to be hard and I I just kind of feel like it was slightly unnecessarily hard um but um yeah it's just like economics, health systems, so like healthcare, all about healthcare. I just kind of like the business side of pharmacy and unfortunately I got a C plus. I literally was one point away from a B minus. So this class is the reason I did not meet my goal of all A's and B's. I was honestly like not gonna lie kind of upset because again this was not even one of the like the main like meaty courses and I got a C plus in it kind of bitter <laughs> about this class because um, I just like did not like it that much um so like honestly I was so proud of myself that I did so well in the other classes so for that semester I had a 2.95 and then overall my GPA is now a 2.84. So as far as this semester, we started off with infectious disease and now that module is over, I'm expecting a C minus in that module. <laughs> um, it was actually really enjoyable, all about antibiotics, about organisms, gram positive, gram negative, and different infections that you can have. But I really did enjoy that class. It was hard, but I really like would not mind specializing in that and then now to replace that module we're taking surgery critical care and transplant and that class is pretty cool we have an exam monday today is saturday and this material for this exam in my opinion is not really that difficult but this semester we have two classes on our composite so we have literature evaluation study design that class is like a semester long class and then we had id which is infectious disease but now again to replace that is the surgery critical care and transplant class lesd or lit eval is pretty cool i mean you're just learning how to evaluate literature but the surgery class like right now we're talking about post-op management we're talking about shock like hypovolemic shock technology like ecg um different blood pressure techniques we're talking about hemodynamic monitoring and then opioids that's kind of what this exam is over i just wanted to kind of like tell y'all um just so you like have an idea and then we have applied therapeutics which is the class where we're assigned to a hospital and we have a patient case and we have to come up with a soap note I actually have to present next week and then the week after next is our last week of it thank god but yes I'll be so excited when that is over but I can't get too excited because as p3s we still have to do applied therapeutics our first semester I'm also taking a community pharmacy elective so I know I like my previous video I said I was gonna make a separate video of what avenue of pharmacy I want to do. I'm not going to keep y'all in suspense anymore. I can like actually make a video on why I want to do this farm this type of pharmacy which that's I think that's a good idea but I want to do community pharmacy I've decided but that's my passion. I love it. Um, I know that it's a lot to deal with but it's just something that I think I'm very passionate about and yeah so that's what I want to do. I'm not too interested in institutional or clinical pharmacy. I think it's cool don't get me wrong but like patient interaction is like something that's big for me and so community is like right up my alley if I were to work in a hospital I would like to do outpatient because like that way you still get some kind of patient exposure but I just kind of think community pharmacy and maybe a managerial position I'm kind of interested in that so that's kind of what I am, the path that I am on. You actually still can get a residency in community pharmacy. I actually didn't know that. So with that being said, that's basically everything. Uh, again, I'm sorry for the long, long break, but I hope you guys can understand. Um, and sorry that this video is so long, but I know that this was long awaited. Just like the amount of questions that I get on a daily basis, like on Instagram from people who watch me and I don't know it just means a lot thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing please leave comments below i kind of want to do another q a video just because i've had so many questions if you have any questions drop them below and once i get enough questions i'll make another q a video and again like i hope you guys are staying safe and um, i'll see you guys next time